what's up beautiful people listen Narima, welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's about the passport bro movement and this this is an information that happened to some passport bros that traveled all the way down to colombia and yeah this is a trend but this has been a trend for a while now and yeah i'm excited to check this one out here they've got to say let's check it out if you're someone who loves to travel, you have to see this. If you guys didn't know, a lot of American guys are starting to go to Colombia to find a wife because apparently they're more traditional and submissive and whatnot. Because they're going to be traveling with money from America to Colombia, girls are going to see them as ATMs. And because they're so naive, they go on Tinder, find a date, and they get set up. Some of them are... But hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, this is trending because this is happening or this happened to some country or some place um, somewhere else. This can also happen in America or have people actually forgotten? Just because it happened in some country don't mean that in America is all cute or all good. It happens in America and things like this is almost a norm in America or can happen any place. Place How are people who go on first dates or who go on dates to pe meet people and then some people get kidnapped or some people get on the life and all of that. So now that we're seeing this as a trend because i mean it's happened to americans now they are making it a trend and to be like oh um you're only safe when you're in america really really people should really start thinking anything it could happen in america and worse things also happen in america not just only somewhere else yeah the women in america don't they take advantage of the men as well they do they see some some men as an atm and so why is it because now it happened in colombia is now looking at like oh the women in colombia are seeing these men as atm it's not making sense i just wanted to point that out because now people will be like and eh, don't travel to colombia yeah don't travel to colombia but is america also safe let's go get set up some of them are even gonna get unalived so please guys, if you go to Colombia, make sure you're safe, make sure you have local friends that you can trust, and at least learn some Spanish. Really? Also in America, let me even ask this question. So also in America, people also need to be safe, or, do you, uh, or is it the exact same America that we know, or we are seeing, or is there a different America? Just because this one happened in Colombia, don't mean it don't happen in America. It happens in America, in fact, it is almost very popular in America, where people meet people on dating apps. And when things do happen, I'm not even from Colombia, but this is just to uh, to tell you that sometimes Americans over exaggerate some things. When the thing happens, as long as it's not in America, they over exaggerate it like bad things don't happen in the exact same America. Or is there a different America that we don't know? Please. Even in America, people really people should be safe. Do they prioritize people's people safety? I don't see that happening in America. So why is it that because they traveled somewhere else, they want to act like oh, it's not making sense? Yeah, people need to be careful wherever they are, wherever they are, wherever they find themselves, and don't make yourself a prey. But exact same thing should happen. Yeah, exact same thing in America as well. Most of the men in America too these things happens to them even the women these things happen to them but because all of a sudden it happens somewhere else americans want to make it a trend and look at make it look like oh it's only in america that you're safe come on come on that is low but yeah let's check some other video about this I made a post a couple weeks ago talking about how Colombian gangs are targeting and unaliving passport bros. And a lot of guys commented with, Western women are just bitter. One, I have a boyfriend, so I'm not even looking. Two, I've never seen or met a passport bro that I feel bad for my fellow American women that they're off the market. Why I seem mad and bitter in that previous video was because men like this. This is Timothy Allen Livingston, who was recently arrested in Colombia for having a 12-year-old and a 13-year-old in his room. The police let him go because he wasn't physically with them at the time they walked in, so he was let go and able to fly back to Florida. He is now wanted by the U.S. and Colombian government. Like I said in the original video, a lot of the profiles on the dating apps used to lure these passport bros are of minors. If you're a guy who's having a hard time here and you're just oh jesus christ yes this thing happened but it also happens in america these people should stop it it's not like all of these things don't happen in america nobody is promoting or supporting one attitude or one behavior but is they are acting or americans or lots of americans are acting like all of this don't happen in america actually it happens in america more than other places the only thing is they always when it happens somewhere even if it's just a small geography or small place or small city that it happens 
they want to generalize it like it's the entire place that it happens we've seen this all over we've seen this in the news if something happened in america they want to defend that thing and they want to say oh it's nothing or they don't uh, they, the, the media will not put an eye or push that information out for other people or international people to hear about it but if it's something even if it's just small thing that happens in some place because it is international then oh okay is the entire place the entire country is unsafe but america too is unsafe oh have people forgotten I can't even imagine that is even the exact same americans that will come up and say i'll start talking about this really is america safe seriously people should stop stop all of this like this don't happen in america i mean lots of these people learnt it from americans or learnt it from america this is not to criticize america but i mean Things also happen in America. People go on, go on dating apps and where things happen in the exact same America. So why is this different? Because it happens to um, it happened to an American, or they are using women or to lure these men. They do it in America, or is it different? Please, let's go. Minors. If you're a guy who's having a hard time here and you're genuinely looking for love, planning on treating a woman right and not trapping her financially or treating her like a slave. I'm totally fine with that, all the more power to you. But saying you're going over there to find a wife and raping children is not acceptable. And yes, I am mad about it. Not because I'm a bitter Western woman, but because I'll stand up for all women, because we gotta stick together. The mayor of Medellin said, I want the whole world to know who this depraved person is, because I want it to not only be known in Colombia, but to be known in the United States or in any country. Someone who believes that they can come to our city and do whatever they want with our children and adolescents are very wrong, and I want people everywhere to replicate that name on social media. So remember the name Timothy Allen Livingston. Wow, wow, wow. My point is, when people, um, especially with this passport bill movement, people who take or who... Um, join this movement should be careful wherever they go or whatever they do don't post your real-time event or real times real time location on your socials be careful and do your research do thorough research before visiting some place new or some city new the exact same thing in america when people go out meet people on dating apps where things don't happen or people don't even remember this or when people also date partners or date people they own a life their their partners they own a life all of these things i'm not trying to justify any of this but i'm trying to tell you that is the way some of these americans are making it look like ah not only america be the only better place no some fun fact is even in america lots of people are unsafe i can't even imagine that is the exact same people that we they will still come and say act like america is all righteousness and all safe to live in really <laughs> really i'm trying to understand or connect the dots here hmm. fun fact is all of these dating apps or most of these dating apps where are they from or who own it who use it more okay so then let's start asking those questions or answering those questions who use it more the exact same americans use it more how many of these people use it on the dating apps how many other countries use it on the dating use it as much as Americans? In fact, 90% of the dating apps are used by Americans more than any country or any place. So, I mean, just the the thing is people should prioritize their safety and be careful of what they do and not make it look like oh one city or one place is unsafe than the other place or one safe even one place is unsafe than america <laughs> really really it just it's just that what i understand and what i know about america most americans is most of them are self-absorbed that they don't want to learn information or learn anything about other place or learn anything about other country they are just so confined in, in their environment and that it you don't think anywhere else is better other than america and that is the problem they always think that other place is worse or one bad thing happened let's say something happened in just a small tiny city then they group it and say the entire place or the entire country is bad when in real sense in america when things like this do happen nobody talks about it on the news or nobody hears about it on the news it's almost like nobody yeah, 
nothing has ha um, has happened and people show up or brush it off but when it happens somewhere else then they make it like or they paint it and make it look like it's the entire country that all of this happened like lots of people should start learning and doing their research i honestly thought americans would know better but at this point it just goes to tell you that lots of them are really self-absorbed that they don't really care about other people it's not making sense yeah this is unfortunate that this happens or this is really unfortunate to happen but again people should be careful if they're moving out to find love or they're moving to some place to look for whatever they should also learn more about the place but this is interesting let me know what you think about this i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share i really love your honest contribution you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video